how to improve your hearing. Oh, <coughs> sorry. How to improve your hearing. Probably helps if I don't whisper, huh? You know, hearing problems have a way of sneaking up on us as we get older. Next thing you know, you've got the TV volume on full blast, and you constantly have to ask people to speak up. Oh, is there anything you can actually do now to make the problem less severe later on? <laughs> of course there is! And we're going to tell you exactly what you can do to improve your hearing. So, sit back, relax, and listen carefully. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so that you won't miss any of our new videos. Alright, counting down from number 8. Avoid loud noises. Loud noise is the main enemy of good hearing. The further you stay away from it, the better. But how much noise is too much? Even though this can be purely subjective, there are a couple of objective ways to estimate it if you're in doubt. Basically, if you need to raise your voice in order to speak to other people or to make them hear you, you find it difficult to hear what others around you are saying, your ears hurt, you have muffled hearing afterwards, or your ears start ringing. All of these are signs that the environment you're in is too loud. Noise levels are measured in something called decibels. The principle is simple. The higher the number, the louder the noise. Any sound over 85 decibels can be damaging to your ears, especially if you're exposed to it for long periods of time. To put it in perspective for you, here's how many decibels the most common sounds are. Whispering is about 30 dB. Two people having a conversation is already 60. The danger zone starts with traffic noise, which ranges from 80 to 85 dB. The sound of a motorcycle is 90 dB. If you like to blare music through your headphones, that's 100 dB. And finally, the noise of an airplane taking off is around 120 dB. Modern technology allows us to measure noise levels in the palm of our hands with just a couple of clicks. All you gotta do is install an app on your smartphone, calibrate it accordingly, and there you go! you'll always know what poses a serious threat to your precious hearing. Number 7. Be careful when listening to music. We've already mentioned that listening to loud music through your headphones or earphones is a whopping 100 dB, which is a lot higher than the 85 decibel limit experts have set to keep your ears safe. Still, it continues to be one of the most common reasons for hearing loss. People can't help but to turn the volume all the way up on their music so that it mutes any external sounds around them. But there's a much safer way to do that without giving up your love of listening to music through your earphones. Stick to the following rules and you'll minimize any possible risks. First of all, opt for noise-canceling headphones instead of turning the volume all the way up to drown out the world around you and make it a habit to adjust the volume to the point where you can hear the music comfortably but no higher. This is usually about 60% of the maximum volume or less. Finally, don't use your headphones or earphones for more than an hour at a time. Take at least a 10-minute break to let your ears breathe and to protect them from infection. Number 6. Protect your ears at loud events. The National Institute of Deafness and Other Communication Disorders warns that when we're exposed to loud noises over a long period of time, we start losing our hearing without even realizing it. Since the damage caused by exposure to loud noises is usually gradual, it goes unnoticed until the symptoms become more pronounced. Plus, according to the experts from this institute, Loud noise exposure can also cause tintinitis, which is a ringing, buzzing, or roaring in the ears or head. This is a serious problem because it can lead to hearing loss in both ears. That's why it's crucial to protect your ears from exceptionally loud noise you find at concerts, bars, nightclubs, sporting events, and any other really loud places. And when you're at these venues, try to move away from the source of all the noise and take a break from it every 15 minutes. Be sure to give your ears about 18 hours to recover after exposing them to excessive noise. Now, you might consider wearing earplugs too. 
These days, there are all kinds of them. Musicians' earplugs, for instance, are reusable, and they reduce sound volume without distorting it. The choice is yours to make. Hey, I wear earplugs to the movies. It can get really loud in those action scenes, and I find they work great. I can still hear the movie just fine, and my ears don't hurt afterwards. Number 5. Add some cardio to your life. Yup, you can totally enhance your hearing with exercise. In an interesting study published in the Journal of Neuroscience, a team of researchers from the University of Florida School of Medicine found a strong connection between the cardiovascular system and the functional ability of the organs and tissues in the inner ear. Basically, with increased levels of cardiovascular health come increased levels of hearing sensitivity. By exercising, you promote blood circulation that travels to the tiny bones and muscles in your ear. When blood flow is facilitated through exercise, nutrients like antioxidants and protective heat shock proteins travel throughout your system and improve your hearing. In order to prevent hearing loss, you need to perform large muscle movements such as walking, cycling, and swimming five days a week for at least 20 to 30 minutes at a time. If these types of activities aren't really your cup of tea, replace them with aerobic exercises. They're great at getting the heart pumping and the blood flowing. With regular workouts, you'll not only keep your hearing safe, you'll get your whole body in shape too. Sounds like a win-win to me. Number 4. Train your brain You know, the human brain plays an important role in processing the sound information that our ears receive. A recent study by the University of Pennsylvania shows that there's a link between hearing loss and mental health conditions such as anxiety and depression. The study suggests that hearing loss may lead to gray matter atrophy in the auditory areas of the brain, particularly in older adults. So, doing some mental exercises can get your brain juices flowing and enhance your hearing. For example, one of the surefire ways to train your brain is strategic games. Things like crossword puzzles and brain teasers provide a great mental workout, building on the brain's capacity to form and hold on to cognitive associations. You can do puzzles or play cards, board games, or word or number games like Scrabble and Sudoku. You can also try having conversations over background noises at home. Turn the TV or radio on at a normal volume and have a chat with your family in the same room. Focus on the conversation while ignoring other sounds. This will help your mind concentrate more on what's important and train your ears to tune out unnecessary sounds on their own. Playing a game called Find the Source of the Sound is also great for hearing health. Plus, it's just outright fun to play with your friends and family. All you gotta do is close your eyes and ask someone to quietly move to different parts of the room or house and make noises. You then have to identify the direction of the sound and what the source is. See? Fun and useful! There's one more exercise you can do, and it's all about recognizing different types of sounds. Go to a relatively quiet place, close your eyes, and focus on figuring out what all the sounds are in your environment, both the close and distant ones. The more you practice this exercise, the more sounds you'll be able to recognize. If you already have trouble hearing, you'll quickly notice the situation changing for the better. Number 3. Do some yoga If you're still saying no to the whole cardio thing, you can say yes to yoga. It's widely practiced for its variety of health benefits, and improved hearing is one of them, according to Dr. Manakshi Welukar, a practicing physician and certified medical and clinical research writer. The main goal of these yoga exercises is to increase blood circulation in your ear and brain. Increased circulation helps improve nerve function and flushes waste and toxins from the body. Yoga poses with deep breathing exercises increase oxygen blood flow to the ear. Plus, the stretching and muscle relaxation that come along with yoga have a positive impact on the heart, circulation, and blood pressure. Here are a couple of yoga poses you can include in your routine. The tree pose is a good stretching and breathing exercise that benefits your arms, chest, abdominals, spine, and leg muscles. The triangle pose boosts your spine's flexibility, relieves backaches, and massages and tones your pelvic organs, all while twisting you into a pretzel. 
The bow pose gives an excellent massage to your abdominals and activates your digestive system. The cobra pose opens up your chest, relieves tension, and strengthens your back muscles. And there you have it! Your training session is ready, no special equipment needed. So what are you waiting for? Give yoga a shot for improving hearing and overall physical and mental health. Number 2. Change your diet Your diet also influences your hearing health to a certain extent, so it needs to contain nutrient-rich foods needed for good health and normal ear function. Make sure that your diet is low in saturated animal fat and refined carbohydrates. Fatty foods are no good since they reduce the blood supply to the ears and other parts of the body due to cholesterol buildup. As for other changes you should consider, try to eat more freshwater fish like salmon, trout, and herring and add plenty of nuts, seeds, whole grains, and most importantly, fresh vegetables and fruits to your daily meals. Be sure to get lots of antioxidants in your system as well. They fight the aging process throughout the body and neutralize free radicals that build up in the body and cause damage. Getting enough vitamins B3, B6, B9, and B12 is a must too. Vitamin B3 promotes blood circulation to the ears and throughout the whole body by expanding the blood vessels. Vitamin B6 is needed for healthy nerve function, and vitamins B9 and B12 play an important role in the normal functioning of the brain and nervous system, as well as in the formation of blood cells and DNA. Vitamin B12 deficiency can be linked to age-related auditory dysfunction, so it's essential to consume adequate levels of these vitamins through food or supplements. And number 1. Keep your outer ear canal clean. Sometimes the easiest solution is the most effective one. So before you do anything drastic, double check whether or not your ears are clean. Buildup debris and earwax are common causes for sudden hearing loss. Earwax is generally a good thing to have in small amounts since it has protective antibacterial properties. And while most of the time the ear canal is like a self-cleaning oven, it does get clogged, which can cause partial hearing loss. Most people use Q-tips to deep clean their ears. But the truth is they can do more harm than good since they can easily push the wax deeper into the ear canal, leading to earwax buildup and more serious problems. So what methods of ear cleaning are safe? Experts suggest using drops of mineral oil or baby oil to unclog your ear. You can also use drops of hydrogen peroxide to clean your ears and dissolve earwax safely. Just be aware that they might cause a mild burning sensation for a few minutes. A syringe can do a pretty good cleaning job too. Use it to gently rinse out the ear canal with water or saline solution. This technique is usually more effective if some type of wax softener is applied about 15 to 30 minutes before irrigating. And that's basically all you need to know to improve your hearing and prevent hearing loss in the future. Just be sure to consult your doctor if you ever experience sudden hearing loss. This issue can potentially be a symptom of other serious medical problems. So don't waste time if the problem is severe, or it may progress into something way worse. Hey, are you hearing this? Okay. Do you take good care of your ears? What do you do to prevent hearing loss? Tell us about that in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a like and click that subscribe button to stay on the bright side of life.